All right, another guy doing a great job would be this man right here. Yeah, I got to paint my Valentine the big red heart. And you do. Paint it all up. Yes. You yeah, do. that's good stuff. Hey, good morning, folks. It's uh, rather damp out there and still on the cold side. It's 46. Uh, but last night, you, you probably noticed the Gulf air coming in with more humidity and then the drizzle started and the mist. This morning, we actually act, have some showers out there. The winds right now are out of the north, but they'll be turning today. Uh, yesterday, we had a, a low of 38 and we got up to 65 in the afternoon when we had, what, two hours of sun and then that, that was it. We are looking at current temperatures right now, 49 out at Naval Air Station, 46 at the airport, 45 in George West, so it's 10 degrees War milder than it was yesterday when we were in the upper 30s, so it's still on the cold side. Now, the northeast wind is out there, but right about here, we have the stationary front that's going to be rolling in today, and that's going to be one of the triggering mechanisms for uh, the showers and maybe a thunder shower or two. Uh, we are looking right now at the fog and low clouds generally south of us. Now, the city seems to be doing well, but one and a quarter mile visibility in the uh, Kingsville area and also down in Fal Furious. Now we are looking at three mile visibility on Highway 44 for us, five miles. So that's good in terms of the city. It's the southern areas that are getting most of the uh, fog right now. Now here's the rain that's been happening in the last six hours. We're looking at actually a couple of thunder showers right about here. You see it right there. So those of you in, uh, Beaver, in Goliad probably might be looking at that. Uh, so there are uh, rain showers in the area. The streets are damp. Uh, courtesy of the overnight drizzle, but the heavier activity is uh, yet to be developed. Now, you might notice something as this loops around. Some of the showers are going this way and some are going this way. Ah, this way is the Gulf air. This way is the upper winds that are lifting and creating those uh, showers. Now, here's what I'm talking about. This front, uh, that was the cold front that came in. Remember that? All right, it came in, stalled in the Gulf, going to back up into our area. So tomorrow, Instead of being in the 60s, we're going to be well into the 70s as that warm Gulf air rolls back into the region. So that's going to be our triggering mechanism for the showers. And then we wait for this frontal system. This frontal system will be rolling through here Friday night for a continuation of the yucky poo weather we've had over the last couple of days. So here's where we are today. Chile, area of low pressure. That system moves on shore. That triggers some rain, brings us the mild air. And then we're looking at the chilly weather to start going away for two days. In two, for two days, we're going to be mild, middle of the week. And then on Friday night, this frontal system will come in and blow the mild air away because it'll bring us back to kind of a January-like weather, even though here we are in mid-February. So here's the roller coaster, okay? You ready for this? 55 today, high temperature, getting up to 70 tomorrow. A little rain both days, then 76 and 74 Thursday, Friday, looking good. Frontal system coming in on Friday night for a continuation of the cloudy, cool, damp weather for so, uh, week. So, yes. yucky poo, meteorological yeah. term? Yes, that's in chapter two. I mean, yucky poo. You have to get a serious degree for that kind of stuff, <laughs> yeah. guys. Yeah, you know, <laughs> when, when it's been three weeks of the same forecast, you run out of words. So. You do. 